You were there for what I believe is one of the most bizarre moments in American political uh, campaign history. Uh, Trump had a Super Tuesday press conference, and you attended, and Trump was trying to respond to the fact that he had been accused, I think, by Mitt Romney of having fake products that didn't really exist anymore. And so he started bringing out all his products, and the whole thing turned into an infomercial. <laughs> all of us watching it, I remember this very clearly, he brought out... There, you can see, close in on that, and you'll see that he brought out his wine, right. his steaks, and his Trump water. And you said that it was such a strange moment because they, they, you were able to walk up to them afterwards. Is that right? I, I, I actually had a fun time writing this part of the book. It was really funny. So that Mitt Romney had gone after him in this epic speech that he gave, calling him a fraud and a fake and, a, and very, very not smart. Um, and Donald Trump responded in this press conference. He was winning a bunch of states on Super Tuesday. And he brought out Trump steaks, Trump wines, Trump magazine, and Trump water. Mm -hmm. But upon closer inspection, Trump steaks were actually Bush Brothers steaks from Palm Beach down the road. Uh, they, didn't Trump, take, they didn't take the wrappers off. They didn't off. take the they wrappers didn't take off. The wrappers they didn't take the wrappers off. The wrappers were there. And it would have taken a second to switch. Yeah. But they I mean, were, they was, really... It was, we, the reporters walked in. First of all, they were guarded by Secret Service. I don't know why. But reporters were at one point able to, to walk You need to guard stakes. <laughs> stakes need to be guarded at all times. There was, there was, they were not Trump stakes. Um, the water was, was bottled by Village Springs bottling plant with a Trump label on it. The yeah. magazine that he showed was the same customizable content, but right. the best was the wine. It said Trump wine on the label, Trump winery. And if you go to the Trump winery website, you'll notice that there's a little disclaimer that says Trump winery is solely, I'm paraphrasing, owned by Eric Trump and has absolutely nothing to do with Donald J. Trump. <laughs> So all of the things yeah. were, were just easily fact-checked before he got up to take the stage. But regardless of that, and these were, you know, spreading around social media like wildfire, regardless of that, he came out and he talked it up as if, as if nobody, as if no one had eyes in the room. Well, it's his gift. <laughs> yes, and, you know, <laughs> it really is in a weird way. His, 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 he, does have, he does have certain gifts, and one of them is to just walk out there and say, yes, I made this, and they have proof that, no, here's a photograph of someone else making it 10 minutes ago. That's bull I made it. And he just goes with it. And it, it's worked for him he quite well. He certainly went with it that day. Yeah.